up to 80% of you who have had systems installed since 2003 uh, will discover that you do not have a building consent for the work that's been done. And let's face it, it's a, a requirement that you have a building consent. And if you haven't got one, then unfortunately you're going to have to get one uh, sooner rather than later. Now, it has, uh, if you read the uh, official websites uh, such as the Solar Smarter one and look at uh, uh, various other guidelines for consumers, you will see that uh, they are placing the responsibility on you as the owner of the property to have a building consent. Now, that may be technically correct. However, um, the people who did the installation should not be let off so lightly. The fact is, is that when you get work of this kind done, uh, these uh, installers are bound by their industry code of practice. And uh, their code of practice is very clear that uh, all work of this kind, in other words, uh, when you're putting installations on top of a rooftop, when you're doing plumbing, uh, electrical work and so on, uh, this must have a building consent and uh, the application has to be uh, put in before the work starts. Um, unless you have it in writing from the person who, or the company that did the installation, uh, explicitly stating that uh, you are being given the responsibility of getting the building consent, or that you have told them that you do not want a building consent, then the installer should not have gone ahead and done the job at all. The work should not be done without a building consent. Now I can tell you, and anybody who's had any work done on any of their houses will tell you this, that when you get a builder, a plumber or an architect who is going to do any uh, uh, work that requires a consent, they will tell you about that. They will advise you, and in fact, I can tell you that every single piece of uh, work done on my house, other than our solar water heating installation, the, the experts that were doing the work actually went and got the building consent for us and they arranged for the building inspector to come and inspect the finished job and sign it off and so on. Okay, sure it is ultimately your responsibility, but the installer and in the these cases of uh, solar water heating panels, 80% of them since 2003, around about 80%, an estimated number, uh, according to brands, uh, they should not have proceeded without that building consent. Now they're turning around and saying, you're at fault. Now that sounds a little bit too much like blaming the victim. You are the victim, okay? and you relied on that professional expertise uh, when you commissioned the work. When you accepted that quotation to install a solar water heating system on your roof, no matter what kind of uh, system it was, the fact is, is that you were relying on that professional expertise to get that building consent. Now, don't let them off the hook. You should not have to pay. If you pay, you should be seeking a refund. If you are having any problems at all, write to me, let me know.